Excuse me, Honorable President Crandall, sir. This unworthy pledge wishes to clean that portion of the floor which is under your glorious shoes. All right, just hurry it up. Arling! Hey, Arling, you turdball. Didn't I tell you to clean this section of the floor over here? Yes, sir, grand and glorious pledge master Wilton, sir. Well, isn't that dog shit I see on it? Yes, it does appear to be canine fecal material, sir. Well, how do you think he got there? As a direct result of my own sins of worthlessness and incompetence, sir. Waters, Henderson, this don't concern you. Get back to work before I paddle your asses. What are you waiting for, Pledge? Clean it up before I make you use your tongue. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Oh, Arling. You forgot to kiss the soles of my shoes. What's the matter, Arling? You waiting for another alternative? Quit! Quit! Go up on the wall of shame! You never become a member, and we haze you as long as you go to this school. That's what happened. This punk asshole quitter, D.D. DeWitt. DeWitt chicken down on a test of courage. He didn't have it, so he quit. Only we never let up on him. We drove him crazy. We made his life a living hell. DeWitt ended up degraded, debilitated, and defunct. He had a nervous breakdown. It was great. One of those things that makes me really proud to be a gamma adult. My shoes, Arlen. That's gross. Remember, kiddies, tonight's your test of courage. It'll make or break you. You know, I'm thinking I'd like to break him. Yeah. Break his neck. Wait for him one night behind the door. When he comes in, wham! Crack him in the head with the baseball bat. <laughs> Fuck the baseball bat. I use a shovel. Yeah. Or an axe. <laughs> or a chainsaw. Yeah. I just want this all done with. See, the only thing that's keeping me going is. Pledges! Don't make a brother get up to answer that door! Why, y'all didn't have to get so dressed up just for little old me. Arlie. What's a pledge supposed to do in the presence of a lady? Oh, welcome to Gamma Delta Omega. Pledge Arling at your service, miss. Just call me Mona. My, you're quite a gentleman. I like that. Pat and Mona, I'm Tex Crandall, president of the house. What can we do for you? You see, our sorority, Delta Omega Alpha, just opened a chapter on campus, and we'd like to affiliate with the fraternity for various social events. Although I assume an organization such as yours already has a sister house? Well, uh, actually, no. We've been uh, on prob I mean, uh, reviewing our situation. We may consider an affiliation provided certain standards are... Our... Y'all want to be certain we're not some doghouse, right? Well, how about three or four y'all come over for dinner tonight and meet the sisters up close and personal? Mona, could you give us a second here, please? This is too good to be true. It's got to be one of those sorority initiation stunts. They get a bunch of guys over and they make fools of them. It's happened before. Let me flesh this out. Mona, we'd love to. Unfortunately, tonight's our final pledge ritual in an off-campus locale. Oh, I'm Les Walton, pledge master. It's my job to make men of these boys. 
Now, I always thought making men out of boys was a woman's job. Well, perhaps you'd like to volunteer your services. I'm sure the pledges wouldn't mind. Mona, I apologize. That was rude and insensitive of me. However, since we can't send any brothers to your house tonight, perhaps you'd like to uh, come check out our little ritual. Oh, we wouldn't think of interfering in one of your sacred rituals. Well, if you were interfering, we wouldn't have invited you. Nevertheless, we thank you for your invitation, and we wish you much luck on finding a brother house. Well... If you're certain we won't be interfering, we'll be there. Bye.